Hello, my name is Marty Conway. I'm with Fluke Calibration. I've been with Fluke for about six years, uh, and I've been in the industry for about 25, which has included the, both calibration and uh, process instrumentation fields. One of the questions that comes up quite a bit is, do I go with a liquid bath or do I go with a dry well? And it really depends on your application. Uh, for ultimate accuracy, the liquid bath is gonna give you much better uniformity with the fluid that's actually used in the bath, um, as opposed to a dry well. So uh, to, to get the ultimate accuracy, the, the liquid bath will be the, your first choice. However, uh, out in the field with a liquid bath, uh, it's not always that convenient. You have issues such as uh, health concerns with the fluids that are being used, ventilation, so forth and so on. Um, but uh, in those cases, then certainly a dry well would be the device that, uh, that you would uh, select over that. Uh, and a quick, just a quick uh, general difference between the two. With the liquid bath, uh, we put fluid into the well itself. This actually is the basket that the RTDs, the devices that are being calibrated, are inserted into. And the main purpose of this is to make sure that the RTDs uh, are prevented from hitting the stir that's actually in the, the bottom of the unit itself. Um, so we would just go ahead, insert the uh, basket, and then put the specific temperature probe that we were calibrating into the bath. Um, conversely, if we actually are out in the field and we're concerned about uh, portability, concerned about issues with uh, uh, liquids and so forth not being compatible with the areas that we're going into, then the drywall calibrator is what we actually would, uh, would recommend. Um, and again, they're both excellent uh, sources uh, as a, uh, to uh, generate and uh, your temperature, but with the drywall, rather than have the, uh, the liquid insert, what we have is a, is a, a metal and so this happens to be aluminum, uh, you can select based on the type of instrumentation that you're calibrating, what the diameter is, you would select the, the well size uh, to correspond to whatever you're calibrating. This in turn is actually sent, put into the dry well itself and the probes actually would be inserted into the well. Now, uh, one thing with a, a dry well, when you are looking at the at the, the specific device, even though typically they'll have six different holes where you can supply the instrumentation that you're calibrating. If you are calibrating something like a transmitter that has an extremely large head to it, obviously we're not going to be able to get six of these into the uh, drywall. So certainly that is one of the situations that you need to think about when you're actually performing the calibration. Uh, one, can I lug around uh, an instrument that has some fluid in it or do I want to go with something that does not have the fluid uh, it's, it's a more dry application but maybe limited to the number of sensors that I actually uh, are going to be able to calibrate and utilize at one time and obviously with the liquid bath as you can say we you can see we can put these at different angles and, and uh, calibrate uh, quite a few more of the transmitters or any odd shape, odd shape type uh, temperature probes uh, with this device. But again, it's really up to you and your, and your application. If you have any questions, please feel free to call our inside sales team. We'll be happy to support you. For more information, please contact your T-Equipment product specialist.